how to add schema codes to your Shopify store. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how you can add schema codes to your Shopify store. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So first things first, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and sign up onto our Shopify store. Now the setup process is actually very simple. Since Shopify is free, there is a pricing plan, but it's generally free for the first three days, as you can see right here. First three days is going to be free. Then for the first month, it's going to be $1 so pay one dollar and you get the whole month so it's a pretty cool deal if you want to you know get started with shopify and see how it works so let's go ahead and sign up sign up process is actually very simple you just simply click on the star free trial and you have a bunch of different options to sign up so you can sign up with their google account or apple or even facebook or if you want you can sign up with email and you know your password so once you've signed up you should be good to go you can then go ahead and get started with your shopify store so i already have an account so i'm just simply going to log in into my account so after logging in this is my account right here so after logging in this is going to be your dashboard this is my account right here this is going to be your dashboard here you will see all of your main options on the left hand side you're going to have your options such as order products uh, customers content analytics and all of the good stuff right and then down below you're going to have your sales channels such as online store point of sales and youtube and facebook and instagram and then down below you're going to have your applications so here let's go ahead and get started with our schema code right we're going to be adding a product schema code now if you don't know what a schema code is it is a code that can help you rank higher in terms of seo so whenever someone searched for that specific product because if you have a good enough schema code added into your store your website is going to rank higher and show at the top so it's highly recommended that you add schema codes into your shopify store for just seo purposes so to add your schema code you're going to have to make sure you have a schema code at hand and once you've had that you can just simply go ahead and search for it on google it's actually pretty simple to find you can even find it in the uh, help center right here you can see right here they've given a couple of schema codes right here so you can copy it from here from the shopify community so once you found the schema code you're going to go into your online store and in themes right you're going to go into edit the themes code so come over here click on these three dot next to the customization option then scroll down and click on edit code now once you're over here you're going to come over here on underneath theme dot liquid right i've already opened it up over here click on theme dot liquid and here is where you're going to go ahead and add your schema codes but usually you would add that over here but in this video we're going to try a different method so for that go into snippets actually and click on add a new snippet and you're going to name this file product schema dot liquid this is the file right here you can get rid of uh, dot liquid over here very simple click on done and we should have a new snippet right here as you can see products schema dot liquid and here is where you're going to paste the code and once you've pasted the code just simply click on save to save the changes so once you've added it make sure you've saved it and once you've saved it come over here onto the filter or the search bar and you're going to find a another section called product or product main section whatever just search for product and it should pop up right here so you can see we've got product.json featured products main product dot liquid here is the section this is the one that we want underneath section we're going to come over here and here scroll down to the very bottom it's going to take some time because there's a lot of code almost 2260 lines of code and at the very end we're going to add this piece of code right here called include product schema once that's done we should be good to go click on save and i believe that is it and now just to make sure that you know it's working all right we're just simply going to save it over here and now once we have done that i am going to go back into my store section right here and open up my online store and i'm going to copy the url so come over here onto this website called validator.schema.org and here just paste the url and click on run test and it should automatically detect the schema codes right here so as you can see it's detected it zero errors zero warnings two items one item organizing your website so as you can see it's detected all the pieces of code which i think is pretty cool so this is how you can add a schema code into your website now another cool thing is that uh since this schema code that we added it did not contain any reviews or anything like that so what we can do is come back over here 
and go into snippet product and we should paste the new code which also contains the review product i also found it right here so right here in the shopify community this is the review as well it contains the review code so you won't have to worry about that so as you can see type review review ratings and all of that so you can just copy this entire code and paste it right here click on save and once it's done you should be good to go then you can of course come back over here validate it onto schema.org or validated.schema.org by pasting the code as you can see no error is detected or anything like that and we should be good to go and of course you can add other schema codes this one was product right product schema codes and review schema codes that's the one that we added there are other ones as well such as a uh, website schema code in general i believe there's a schema code comment i believe maybe even reviews a separate schema code for reviews so there's schema codes for a bunch of stuff when it comes to shopify so make sure you add all of them wherever you want to add for now for this part of the video we just added the product schema codes so pretty simple and again uh once one more thing that I wanted to mention is that uh, make sure to actually go ahead and purchase the plan. So if you are using the free version of Shopify, it might not work. Generally, it should work, but I'm just saying it might not work. But still, make sure to purchase it uh, if you don't know how much it would cost. This is the pricing plan right here. So you can see there are four pricing plan. Well, five if we include the, uh, the $2,300 version one. This is the pricing plan. If you go with monthly, it's going to be $25 per month. And in it, the main difference is the third card rates, the third party payment providers percentage that you have to pay, right? So uh, card rates starting at 2% for the basic one. So you're going to pay 2% third party payment providers. You're going to have 10 inventory locations, 24 seven chat support, localized global selling up to three markets and point of sale light which is i think is pretty cool they send you their own uh payment processing machine so keep that in mind so this one was the basic one 24 dollars. but again if you go with the first month it's just simply going to cost you one dollar for the first month so it's actually pretty simple and pretty cool uh i'd recommend going with this one the first plan because you know it's just starting out and it's really good but if you actually need some more stuff or well the uh two percent is you know messing with you then you can go ahead and upgrade it then you can go with the uh second plan which is shopify it is going to cost you 65 dollars and in it you're going to pay one percent for the third party payment providers everything else is going to be the same except you get five additional staff accounts and yeah everything else is the same so you get one percent instead of two percent and five additional staff accounts and yeah so make sure you check out the payment plans and buy the payment plan for the first month is going to be one dollar and yeah so this is how you do it this is how you add a schema code to your shopify store so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye